This is the daily video update for July 23rd, 2020 for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Dan Hodgkiss writes this. A special risk for leaders is that a congregation can succeed so well at organizing that it loses track of its religious mission. Congregational life becomes so tightly ordered that it squeezes out all inspiration. To historians of religion, the pattern is almost a law of physics. Religious energy diminishes from one generation to the next. So as we're thinking about change this week, one of, one of the core things to keep in mind is how do we not lose track of our religious mission? And by this, I mean what Theodore Parker calls the permanent in faith. How do we, even as we organize in different ways in this coming year, keep our core identity as a religious community at our heart? This is not an idle question. The challenging question for Unitarian Universalism in our generation is this. How are we distinct from a liberal social club? What makes us distinctly a religion and not the Sierra Club but with better music? And no, the answer is not, we meet on Sunday morning. The answer has to lie in the permanent, not the transient, not the cultural context in which we exist. To me, the thing that comes closest to an answer to that challenge is our congregation's vision statement, that we are a loving community uniting reason with spiritual exploration to transform ourselves and the world. It captures something really profound about who we are as a religious institution. We're a community united in love. Our particular flavor of faith does not see reason and the spirit as competing, but as complementary. And we are about the work of transformation. No one touches holy ground and stays the same, as Dan Hodgkiss puts it. So in practical terms, right now we're figuring out how to be a congregation in the midst of pandemic. That means that there are a lot of pieces that would normally be a part of our identity, meeting on Sunday morning, singing together, that are at minimum going to be different in the coming year, if not profoundly changed. For the first time, we might be recognizing things that are transient that we once thought were permanent. So in this, as we're figuring out new ways of being together, as we're modifying technology and worship and religious education and administration, all of that, the North sense in our sense of who we are remains that we are a loving community, that we unite reason with spirit and we transform ourselves and the world. If we can keep that at our core, most everything else is transient. And on an entirely different note, uh, it's important to keep up morale in times of pandemic uh, and to celebrate the little joys of life. So uh, today is opening day of baseball season, which means I have exactly three more hours to make jokes about the Orioles being tied for first in the American League. And I get to say, go Orioles. Their mediocrity is transient even if it lasts for generations. The permanent in baseball is the crack of a bat and the smell of hot dogs, and whether that's in a stadium with 40,000 people or at home teaching Ailish for the first time about the glory of Cal Ripken, some of the magic is always there. Let's go O's.